Welcome back to the NDS. We're here at Rusty's Chicken Farm for the eighth race of the season. Twelve club time qualifying. Right back up. We are going to get ready to race. Logo on pole. Pace car in. Full draft track. Ready to go. Here we are, green, green, green flag, kicking off with Joe's Chicka Shack 400. You know, some drivers aiming high while others kind of laying low. This, this like, warm-up lap almost. This can actually be a great way to get positions if you... Play your cards right. Look at this four wide behind to the leader. It's still going. That's some insane shit right there. First lap, believe you want more. Go high, go low, go anywhere you want. What's it gonna be? 34 Tiger Man looking right up the middle here. There's plenty of different lanes to pick from. I think that lane up top got good push. Those 60 and 66 getting right up there. And everybody is looking for more. Even the best here are closing in on each other. How close they get drafting up in the middle. That is not something you want to be reassured of. When you're up there, it can get real bad. Mizzou, those in company there. Whoa. Whoa. Ours passing 11's in it. Tiger Man. Bunger. Landon. I'll get caught up in it. Yeah, that definitely kind of sucked. There's a lot of close calls in there, and that one finally did it in. 66 doing a great job not getting involved while others just can't quite avoid it. Pre-race trouble for the 41 is not able to get out there. I think the 41 is going to get out there, but it's going to be a few laps before she does. So the 41 being sent out going to be a couple down, but that's a pretty clean car. Twenty one of Wolf Van Halen's out there to lead. I think everyone's staying out. Yeah, fair call, I guess. At this point in the race, Star being two down, we'll get to line up on the lap down queue instead of the lead lap queue. So that means the leaders are going to line up on the high side. At least 21 is. Puff in second, BS Fast in 11 in third. Top two look pretty good. The fantasy drivers have been able to draft their way around. Let's see. 44, 10, 19, 34 out of the race, and Star being two laps down, about 37 cars in the lead lap. Seems like a pretty good deal. Oh, 31, and Misty Viper has exploded and is pulling off a track. Unfortunate for the 31 team. Going to come down to the restart. Let's take a look. The 
41 just kind of a, kind of a victim there. But others are all getting up to speed. Now being back there isn't necessarily a bad thing. You got you can just draft your way up and it'll be still a solid day. Gamma's right there in the middle of it. Having a pretty good look on this restart. So far, so good. 71 is looking a little off. Kind of got a little checked up there, but it's fine otherwise. And these drivers are all competing for the lead here. It is still nowhere close to settling down. Oh, round goes for 20. Trouble. More trouble. Oh, God. 60's in it. 71. 45. Not so much in here. Three and four, not very many. Drivers all getting through here pretty well. And plenty of guys like Laundry Sauce, Hyperdrive, everyone here trying to get through as well. Let's see what the yellow is for. And the 20 of Eastland just did not. He was just there. He had the one there, flanked by the one and the four. Nothing really he could do about it. That stacks up the entire high side. There goes the 14 around. The 16 takes a nice evasive action. The 2 into the 24. The 45 might have got into it. Yeah, 45 gets into it there. The 62 way in the infield. Very unfortunate set of incidents here. Seto now out front, and it looks like this could be pit stops here. Yes, they are pit stops. Ahoy. Got a few guys staying out. Interesting calls being made across the board. Pit stops here are always interesting because it always ends up being a who in the hell is going to get cucked by pit stops. Code Warrior all over the Packer Razor. Jesus Christ. 14. None too appreciative of that. Code Warrior trying to find his in. I think he's got it right there. Born Ready coming out. 12. Dropping a rear bumper and going. 71's going. I think everybody's going out. So Gamma now leading as he doesn't pit. All right, let's take a look at some of the ones who are out of the race. All right, 31 was out because, you know, of course he did. 2, 20, and the 14 are all out. 33 cars on the lead lap back to BS Fast Lane 11. Plenty of guys in the back who you're worried that might not get up to speed. Gamma Tears, Fred Jones, fucking Ringo Dude, the Puff and Racing Fan, top 5.
Look at this. We're going to have a restart here, and it's going to be about 21 to go. Here we go. You can see already how much better launch those lead lap cars have compared to the 41 star. Yeah, it looks pretty single filed out, and there are some slow guys back there. You'll have to worry about them later. They could have each other. All fine on that front. Meanwhile, the, speaking of the front, the front is battling. Pretty good. Looks like the 12 might be the slowest car on drag. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, Jake! And more in the bag. There goes the 86 of Fred Jones. Oh, racer involved. The cooker. Darkest presence. Team Duke. Logan trying to slow down. Jerry's in it. Ben's in it. KSS VSS. Good news is Star gets one of her laps back. I think. That was not called for at all. Talk about just absolutely not looking where you think you're going. I think what happened was the Puff could have backed out. Instead, that's damaged so many cars. 66 and the 50 are in it. The 5 saves it off the 16. The 1, the 86, 21's in it. The 8 hits into the 62. Cooker, Duke. Oh my god. Logan's involved. 50. I think 36 got a piece of it. Yeah. 21 and 36. There was no reason to do that. No reason to stick your nose in there. And cause a wreck like that. OV11 gets a piece of it as well. That one was not pretty. Ben McDonald, who... Jesus Christ, Ben McDonald about just fucking hit the pit wall. Actually slides down into pit road at full speed. The 16. Pretty badly damaged. His pit box was way fast there. 66 coming in for repairs. Dirtman, CS, Team Duke. Team Duke's out of the race already. Twenty-three of Iris looks like had a pretty fine escape through there. Puff coming back out on track. Sixty-six coming back out. CS with some bad luck. Jerry's torn up. So is the Cooker. Darkest Presence. Gamma continuing to lead laps here as the laps wind down. That was the star being one lap down is nice, but you know, on the scale of who should that nobody should have seen that one coming. Racer, Ben, Jerry, and Cooker are still torn up on pit road and Darkest Presence. There's so many DNFs from that one. Oh my god. 24 cars back to CS Fast and 11 on the lead lap. How the 41 is only one lap down is interesting. Star made up one of our laps on that restart. Not sure if you can make that trick happen twice. Let's just check pit road again. Oh, they're all out of the race. Oh, yeah. Yep. 
Every single one of those motherfuckers. Jesus Christ. Only about 20 some cars. Pace cars in. Gamma. The control car at this opportunity. And here we go. Back to green once more. There is plenty of potential for what is known as an upset. There's only... I don't even know how many like viable cars there even are on track. There's so much damaged equipment that they're just going to be their own pack. That I would hit everything but the goddamn pace car at this point in time. Jesus. Maybe all the caution laps staying out the entire time is a viable strategy. I think everyone back to like maybe the 21. And even then, I'm not sure if he's going to keep up at this main pack as well. It is just decimation out here. Zentz is able to keep keep straight pace in the front. Fred Jones coming down pit road. Fred Jones and Dirtman. They're both still on pit road. The 50s are going to be able to keep up with those guys, so maybe he might get good points out of this one. 62's out of the race, so that's all the fancy drivers covered. Yeah, assuming Wolf Van Halen doesn't make the lead pack, that's 10, looks like 11 cars in the lead group. Both rookies are still on track. 38 in the main pack, 45 not in the main pack. And the 41, like, even if she gets her lap back, what the hell is she going to do to get back up through this field? Still sure as hell making the most of a pretty bum day. The 41 running solidly. It's a damn shame. I had to... Have that rough start to the race. Hardly anyone here for a compelling battle. 77 to Jake looking for a really good points haul at this point, honestly. Mizzou could try to go for a win this season. The 99 of Laundry Sauce in the main pack, he could upset. Go for a broke here. Krugemeyer, been ages since a, since a good Krugemeyer win. Just been forever. Hyperdrive, 282, banking on some good points. Might try to close this thing out. And a 38, keeping in good touch here. You see Dirtman 5. Pulling off pit road at this moment. Racing fan here. Billy Mays is really slow, so keep an eye out on that one. 22 of Gamma. Just kind of always been here running with this pack. And these 11 and a lap car is all they've got. From a distance, you could hardly tell it's a pack at all. Just is what it is. I mean, might be more fuel burn in the last cars you have to slipstream off of, so that could come into consideration. Pretty sure some of these guys have been a long time down pit road, if at all. A lot of the pit road takers have all been damage repairs. On board with laundry sauce, you could see the decision making that's to go into one of these races. C 
see the high side push with hyperdrive and gamma both going hard. 41 still lap down. Probably a little too late for a comeback, but still. Damn fine job. Looking at Zents up front, just that's just the 17 kind of managing this thing. Racing Fan and Mizzou both getting the connection to go to the lead here. 41 comes down. Jake's trying to roll the bottom right there with those two. And Seto coming up behind. He had a character up a track, that little wood bridge right there, and then there's another bridge near the exit of four where it looks like a river kind of runs through the middle of the track. You can see it on pit entry. There's little spokes holding up that bit of bridge there. That crest. The bridge of pit entry and back on solid ground. running to the start finish line here. Mizzou continuing the push given to the 38. Just minor elevation changes kind of adding to the experience right across the bridge here. Right there. I think they're coming up on some one of the lappers. That's Billy Mays in the 36. I think at this point, fancy drivers are all kind of out of it now. They're not that fast. Mizzou trying to capture a lead, but no push given. The 41 is just kind of racing in a way that isn't really the same way as normally racing because you know trying to predict when a caution comes out never that simple the driver's getting kind of wide here like and strung out not sure what the plan is are they going to stay out? They certainly got to try. Because if every driver in this lead pack had to come down pit road at least once, that would probably actually spice the hell out of this race, but not, might not be favorable. The 21 seemingly losing the main draft, so 10 there were. Everyone in here is... Gearing up for that top 10 finish, and it's going to be a damn good one at that. Seto in the 54. Trying to find someone to draft up through and keep into speed, but they're coming up on Billy Mays. Gamma gets off the best here. As this might actually break up a few of these leaders here, which could lead to some more... Isolated single there. They're trying to get around that 36. 36 looks actually pretty damn slow. Seto might have actually kind of doomed herself trying to go high. And there's CS passing 11, another lapper that they're all going to get around. Except for goddamn Seto. Jesus Christ, 54 cannot catch a break. Durman 5 was coming down pit road. And then there were nine. Gamma pushing so hard. Next lapper is going to be Fred Jones. Fred Jones actually made a few pit stops. There's 
How many cars one lap down are there? Star moving 21st past those two. Dirtman 5 and Fred Jones are kind of pretty far back. But yeah, though, picking down in the laps is pretty nerve-wracking here. Remember, the 41's a lap down, so the 38 is going to lead this lap. It's so hard to imagine, like, what the 41 can do at this moment. Do you want to try to fight for your own race, or do you want to let the leaders have at it? Such a difficult decision to be made here. Krugemeyer could go for the first win in quite a while. Got Canadian Lux, Mizzou, Laundry Sauce all loaded up in the shell behind. Is trying to save fuel maybe a good idea? Not sure. Zent's trying to push the 41. You know, just have someone to push. Don't need to pass the 41. Just clear you two out and get going. Jake's there as well. Coming down to the end of the race, 29 to 33. Toad Warrior, BS Fast 11, and the Puff are all there. So the next three to pass, they're coming up on. The lead group just kind of running at it head first. You see the three over there. Shadow and Wolfman Halen are long gone. Oh, Jake peels down pit road. Oh boy. Who, who saved? If a 77 ain't gonna make it, who saved? Who fucking saved? Dirtman 5 on Fred Jones, they might also be stuck in a pitting loop. As they come up on the three lappers, 66 coming off pit road. Yikes. Everyone scrambles. This could be a save race. I'm Krugemeyer leads, but do they have enough? You see, Ringo actually went a lap down. I think he pitted once to try to get that security and that gas and go. We don't know who's it gonna be. Gamma Star Racing fan all hit the deck. There goes Toad and BS. The lap cars hit the deck. Billy May is coming off. Three to go. Fink comes back out on track. Krugemeyer, Zentz, Mizzou, one, two, three. Pit Road is a busy place. Who's got the gas? I see Zentz wanting to make a pass on Krugemeyer. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Shit. Emma drifts down third. Zent's out front. The pace has fallen so hard. God, guys. Fred Jones comes back down. Two to go. Kyle D coming off pit road. Iris coming off pit road. The top four, top three all in the line. Sauce and Hyperdrive rounding out top five. There's hardly any cars here to fight in the lead group. 
There's the 21 of Wolf Van Halen about to go lap down. The pace has a bit insane right here. Insanely slow, that is. Zent's not going too fast. Here they come. White flag. Zent's going to go one more time around for Zent. Frosty Wosky coming off pit road. This is it. Mizzou got one last chance to make a pass. I'm not sure if there's enough like cars to make it pass. Zents might bag it. 17. Lapper. 21. Lap down. Mizzou tries to get a little sniff of a little draft there. Going through 3 and 4. Mizzou swings out. This is the pass. Setting up. I think the 17's out. Zentz is out. Oh, Mizzou's out. They're out. They're all out. Who's going to get through to win the race? On fumes. Mizzou. I think Hyper had the fuel, just not the draft. Oh my gosh. I don't believe it. Hyper, <laughs> feel bad. Hyper had the fuel, not the draft. That is insane. I think the 78 is here to show those guys, hey, I've still got it. What a finish. I, I. That is incredible. That is, that is incredible. Dirtman 5 didn't make it to the line. Hyperdrive, them did. What a race. Those are all those who crashed out, didn't make it. That's all we have for this race. See you next time. Take care.